Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Rainer Ford. Thanks for the suggestion, Rainer. You asked, why are fuel doors on different sides of the car? If you've ever pulled into a gas station, slowed down, lined up perfectly, only to realize you're facing the wrong pump, you've probably wondered the same thing. Why can't all car companies just pick one side and stick to it? Why does one car keep it on the left, another on the right, and a few seem like the engineers decided by flipping a coin during lunch break? Today, we're lifting the hood on the design choices, safety reasons, and sheer automotive chaos that decide where your fuel door ends up. So if you've ever been betrayed by a rental car or accidentally blocked a pump because you guessed wrong, stick around as we break down the real reasons fuel doors live on different sides right here on Explaining Everything. Let's start with the funniest part. There is no global rule deciding which side a fuel door must be on. No international treaty, no obscure engineering law, not even a grumpy committee somewhere in Germany yelling, they must all be on the left. Automakers are completely free to place it wherever they want. That means every car company is basically playing a game a fuel door Tetris, trying to squeeze it into whatever spot works best for their design. It's chaos. Beautiful, gas-powered chaos. Believe it or not, fuel door placement actually has logic behind it. And I know that's disappointing because it would be way more fun if engineers just picked sides based on zodiac signs. A big reason is safety during crashes. Most cars have the fuel filler neck running from the fuel door toward the tank. Depending on where the exhaust, drivetrain and reinforcement structures sit, one side may be safer or easier to shield. For example, if the exhaust components take up space on the right side, the filler neck might be safer on the left. If the crash structures are stronger on one side, engineers may choose the opposite side for extra protection. In short, they're trying to keep your car from becoming a rolling Molotov cocktail, and we appreciate that. Cars are like giant metal puzzles full of wires, tubes, airbags, sensors, and things we pretend to understand when talking to mechanics. Every model has its own internal layout. Engineers need to root the filler pipe from the fuel cap to the tank without bending it like a curly fry. Sometimes one side simply works better. Also, fun fact, fuel tanks are often asymmetrical because they need to fit around suspension parts, storage space, and the rear axle. So the filler neck has to follow a side that isn't blocked by mechanical organs. It's like plumbing, but with explosions. This one is secretly brilliant. In countries where cars drive on the right side of the road, like the US or Europe, many automakers put the fuel door on the left side. Why? Because it means you fill up away from traffic, safer, smarter, less chance of getting clipped by someone who's late for work. In countries where cars drive on the left side of the road, the right side fuel door becomes the safer option. Not all brands follow this, but it's a common trend. Notice how Japanese cars often have right-side fuel doors? That's because Japan drives on the left. Culture affects everything, even where we poke a fuel nozzle. Some companies simply stick to what they've always done. Volkswagen loves the right side. Most American cars 
prefer the left. BMW switches sides depending on the model, like it's trying to stay mysterious. Engineers also try not to mess with owner habits. If your brand has used the left side for decades, suddenly switching sides would confuse loyal customers. And confused customers do not buy cars. They just rant on the internet. Ever rented a car and spent 10 minutes circling the pump like a lost Roomba? That's because there's no universal side. So rental fleets are a chaotic rainbow of fuel door randomness. But here's the magical secret most people don't know. The arrow on your fuel gauge literally tells you the side. Yes, that little triangle next to the gas pump icon is pointing right at it. It's been there for decades, and most of us only discover it by accident at age 30. In the end, the side of your fuel door isn't a grand conspiracy, a secret driver IQ test, or a worldwide prank by car manufacturers. Though, it definitely feels like that at 11 p.m. when you pull up to the wrong pump. It's really just the result of engineers working around the internal layout of each car keeping safety in check and sticking to design habits that have built up over decades. No universal rule, no hidden code, just a lot of behind-the-scenes decision-making that happens long before you ever grip a fuel nozzle. But even if the logic is buried deep inside the car's design, the confusion it causes is something every driver on Earth understands. So the next time you pull up to a gas station and get that split-second panic about which side your fuel door is on, don't feel bad. You're participating in a long, proud tradition of automotive guesswork. And hey, at least now you know why it's such a mess. Just remember, the little arrow on your dashboard has been quietly judging you this entire time. If you enjoyed this Fuel Door Detective mission, hit that like button. Subscribe for more weird explanations about the everyday world. And if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in. And join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.